Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I'm here with a project share. Uh, before I start, let me just say I apologize for my nails. Um, I had some jam berries on and they were coming off so I took them off but I haven't had time to take off the nail polish on my other fingers so I apologize for the condition of my nails. Plus I've been crafting um, for a lot of the day. So anyways, um, this is a project share and it is a card that I made um, following Violet who is Paper Made Pretty here on YouTube. Um, she did a seven part um, little series about how she puts together her gorgeously amazing um, shabby chic cards and I thought she went through all that time and trouble and I wanted to um, make a card using that tutorial and um, putting a couple of my own spins on it um, but it definitely you can tell when you see if you haven't seen Violet's card when you do go to check out her videos on the tutorial you will see um, that it is definitely majorly <laughs> inspired by Violet. So let me show you my version of the shabby chic card and this is it. And I think it came out pretty good and um, I did spend a lot of time on it like Violet did on hers. Uh, probably not as much time and you'll be able to see right away not as many layers as um, she used but you I think you can tell that um, she inspired this card I used the um, corrugated card like she did um, I took a couple of pieces of paper uh, you can't see the very back one but you can kind of tell in this one that I did crumple it up like she did and then flatten it back out so there are two layers of that on top of the card and then I put down this beautiful uh, piece of trim here and um, then I, um, I cut out this frame it's a Sizzix uh, no I'm sorry it's not Sizzix it's a um, I think it's a heartfelt creation um, die cut and it's a beautiful frame square frame and it's very intricate and um, I wanted to use that for the background of my image so I die cut the frame I put the image on here and this gorgeous little image was uh, from Johnny Tabasco 14 hi Johnny and uh, she had sent me some images oh gosh probably uh, well I know it's been over a year I think and I've been saving them for special um, little projects and this one just seemed to be perfect for what I wanted to do and I just think she is gorgeous so I I put that on next so that then I could start building uh, around it and um, I started by putting like this piece here and this is um, the two background pages aren't graphic 45 but the rest of the pieces are I started by um, distressing this page he piece here that says celebration and then this piece here that looks almost kind of like a little um, postcard and I put those on there um, I fussy cut the uh, teapot out and I actually um, gave it a little bit of um, height I you know I put a little bit of that um, what do you call that stuff well you know to to bring it up um, it just isn't a Maggie video without forgetting a word <laughs> so I put that on there and um, let's see and then I think 
I put on this wooden piece that it's a beautiful little wooden piece but you can't uh, see too much of it but that's okay you can see some of it and then I just kept building from there uh, I put all the flowers I used are Wild Orchid Crafts and they're absolutely gorgeous I think this is one of their magnolias um, I used some rose buds, some hip rose buds here and here um, these are miniature um, apple blossoms and these are miniature gardenias there's one there and there's one there and over here are the little you know sweetheart blossoms there's three here and two there there's also a little ribbon um, that's supposed to kind of look like it's on her hat and I put a little butterfly in there um, I added one two three of these little flower appliques and I use flat back pearls in the middle of that um, this here little clock is a um, uh, from Michael's their reflection I think it was supposed to look like one of those one of the prima lines um, the romance line and I thought that went you know nice enough with it this is a graphic 45 little stamp and it's from the tea time all this is from the tea time collection and this says tea party and um, there's a little butterfly here a um, like a it's not resin but I'm not sure what it is uh, I found that it there was like six of them in a box at TJ Maxx a long time ago so then the last thing that I did was I used my and I have that right here diamond dust and I love using it on the walk flowers so I just kinda dusted all the flowers with it and then I took it a little further I did the corners and the middle pieces of the frame here and I just took sections of the teapot and diamond dusted there just for some the added sparkle I think just adds to the card so that's my violet um, paper made pretty inspired shabby chic card so um, yeah so violet if you're watching I really enjoyed watching your process videos and you make the most gorgeous cards and I love all your layering and it was fascinating to watch um, just exactly how you did it step by step and I love that you did it in real time and that we could really watch it so um, and I will definitely make other ones I'm just not sure when and there's my um, phone going off so I am going to say goodbye and I will see you all again soon with another project Thanks for watching. Bye.